for four days, Winnipeg's ICUs have been so full that our provincial government has needed to transport patients outside the province to Ontario for help. With our health care system stretched beyond what it should be, I want to thank those in Ontario for being there for us in our time of need. And projections we've seen from the province show that we could see even more patients in ICUs in the coming weeks. In today's meeting that I had with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, I stressed the urgent need for support from the federal government, including Canadian Armed Forces and healthcare workers from other provinces. Prime Minister confirmed our federal government is there to help. For the federal government to act, however, any such requests must be made by our provincial government. And that's why today I'm urging our Premier to ensure our community gets the urgent assistance from, the, from our federal government to shore up our ICU capacity now. I'm disappointed that once again in the third wave, we're in a position where the provincial government is reacting to higher case counts instead of taking the proactive measures weeks ago that I and others, including doctors, had been calling for. This isn't the time to tinker with public health orders. We need strong, proactive leadership, and we've needed it for some time. Clearly, the approach that's been taken to this point hasn't been successful, and I'm urging our provincial cabinet to put every ounce of energy into finding a path that changes our course.